Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to uh, part three of how to create a propeller. So, um, okay, let's start a new design. And uh, this technique actually it's pretty cool. And in the moment you're gonna see also why. And um, <clears throat> okay, so what we're going to do now, we are going to start with a construction uh, plane and it's going to be the planet angle. We're going to choose this one and we're going to start with, uh, it's going to be on this plane here. And uh, let's see here, I'm going to give it um, initially, let's start with minus 50 so we create a new sketch here and it's gonna be right here in the middle this one it's gonna be M50 and we just going to create a line here <coughs> one line here here in the center and another one, another one here and we're going to create some symmetry here good now I'm going to trim the sides don't worry about this warning and I'm gonna turn this line here to construction and this one to construction and this one to construction as well. So and here we're going to decide oh, all right we're going to decide how many degrees we need here. Um, I'll just give it 50 for now. We can always change it later so don't worry. And of course, also for the um, 25, the radius, you already have it here. It's, it's 50. That's okay. And you know what? I'm just going to delete this one here. And I'm going to create a new one here, like this. Okay, this is the first one. And we're going to create a new plan at angle and let's see here we are going to create let's see how many degrees we can always change it so don't worry about it minus 30 and let's create a new sketch on this one so gonna create a new circle right here in the middle and it's going to be I don't know, 190 and uh, exactly like before just okay create one line here another here in the center and another one here so we're going to trim those lines, we don't need them. And we're going to create symmetry. Okay, and we're gonna turn this one, those lines into construction lines. And let's put some dimension. This one is 77, uh, we can reduce it to Oof, round 50 let's start with uh, 50 and then we can just play with it and change it and here it's the radius 95 okay and we cannot click OK now the third plane it's gonna be an offset and it's gonna be an offset for this plane here and here comes the really cool part in this uh, offset construction. Now you can decide wherever you want it and you can change it afterwards, so don't worry. For now, we're just gonna put it here. 
and we're gonna create a new sketch on this one <clears throat> here we're going to choose the spline tool and we're going to start um, I don't know, somewhere maybe here here in the middle and another one here and click OK now in order to work on it I just want to sorry to hide the sketches here behind so they're not gonna bother us here I'm gonna do maybe something like this okay so we're just gonna finish sketch we can hide this origin and let's see what we've got here okay and now we're going to the patch and uh, we're going to create a loft between this one this one and this one okay so and we're just gonna click OK and uh, next we are just going to create a let's go to the model we're going to create a new uh, you know what instead of just to save time let's create a new cylinder right here in the middle and it's gonna be just say 80 that's um, actually no I'm going to make a sketch right here and I'm gonna extrude it both side equally and uh, see how much this is fine okay and we need to thicken this one in order to create a body out of it and you can choose let's say one and a half and it's going to be symmetry on both sides good so now we can see I created really cool shape of a blade and uh, what we can do here we can turn this one on show dimension and we can start play with it and the changes are going to project immediately to the body as you can see so this is really really cool way of actually uh, creating and controlling the curve of the of the blade you have a lot of control here put it a bit backwards you can move it forwards um, or if you're not happy you want something which is more precise you can just go in here <clears throat> to the inside the sketch and make the changes that you want and that is goes to also this one here as well you can still change everything that you want uh, you can make it, uh, let's just say it's a little bit too um, maybe small so we can increase the diameter to, I don't know, 105 for example so it's a little bit longer and yeah, and for now you can just take it from here and if, you f if you're happy with this one <coughs> create the different, uh, you know, create fillets here to make it uh, nicer and more realistic so there are going to be some limitations here and uh, but you can still do it you can still make it you can change for example the overall uh, if you want to make it a little bit smaller so uh, just a second show dimensions 
So we can change this one, for example, to let's just say 40. And uh, this one you can also change to make it even smaller. This one here and this one here. So, and here we go. So this is the third technique. And uh, if you want, you can actually, as I said before in the beginning, uh, third in the part number one, you can actually take this one and add it to all the other techniques. And this way you can have control for the curve in the middle of the blade. So it's up to you how you can combine them and what kind of uh, blade you exactly you need. If it's going to be one straight blade or yeah, it's, it's a completely up to you. We can combine all these different techniques. So um, yeah, so this is for uh, technique number three. And um, there are many, many other ways you can uh, create those blades, those propellers. Um, so you just have to try them uh, again think a little bit out of the box and uh, yeah if you have any question so don't forget to put it down below in the comments uh, if you like it hit the thumbs up and uh, i'll see you in the next video bye bye